want to have SSL and nifty looking URLs for your home lab, let's talk about Nginx Proxy Manager. Hi, this is Karsten with OpenTech and before we start, don't forget to like, to subscribe and to hit the notification bell. Since it helps you receiving your daily dose of tips and tricks and infos around open source and home lab related topics. And now let's talk about Nginx Proxy Manager, which prerequisites we have to fulfill, how we install it and how we ultimately can use it. Let's get into it. Okay, first of all, let's talk about what Nginx Proxy Manager actually is. In short, it is a solution allowing you to have a proxy for your services in your home lab, meaning you don't have to remember IP addresses and you also don't have to care about SSL or how to set up SSL because everything is handled on the level of Nginx Proxy Manager. And the best is Nginx Proxy Manager is open source. It does not cost you anything and there is a small community around it. Awesome! Before we can actually go and install Nginx Proxy Manager, let's talk about the prerequisites. First of all, you want to have a virtual or physical machine with Docker and Docker Compose being installed. And if you don't know how to do that, here is a video which explains that, although in the context of World War. Then secondly, you want to have your domain routed to your home lab if you want to expose services to the outside world. That can be done using Cloudflare and a DIN DNS service. I'll cover that in a video later on. And number three, you probably want to have your own local DNS service running, which allows you to define subdomains that are not routable from the outside world, but can be used for internal services. Having those things in place, well, we can go and install Nginx Proxy Manager. The centerpiece of installing Nginx Proxy Manager is the Docker Compose YAML file. Let's have a look at that file. From top to bottom, you can basically see that we install two services, app and DB, and obviously they reflect the Nginx Proxy Manager application and a database. Let's talk about the database service first. We install a MariaDB database, which is basically set up with a few environmental parameters defining passwords, database name and user and password for accessing the database. Also, we map the actual database to a volume, allowing us to maintain it even if the service has to restart. On the application side of things, we use the JC21 Nginx Proxy Manager image in its latest iteration, and we expose ports 80 and 443 for accessing our website from the outside world. Also, we expose port 8081, which is mapped to the internal port 81 for being able to access the web front end. Then we define the five parameters to access the database and we also mount two volumes here, data and let's encrypt. First one is required to store Nginx proxy manager data and the second one is required for storing the let's encrypt certificates. And with that configuration, we will now be able to roll out Nginx proxy manager. Now, all we need to do is we need to copy the Docker Compose YAML file over to the server and then start it. So what we do first of all is we create a dedicated directory just for the sake of organizing things. We switch into that directory and then we create a new file, we call it docker-compose.yml. We open that file and now we paste the contents we have just seen in here, save that file. And now all we have to do is to start the Docker Compose service. We do that by typing docker minus compose up minus D. It takes a few seconds depending on your network speed and then your Nginx proxy manager service is already up and running. And we can verify that by typing docker minus compose PS. So what we need to do now is to head over to the freshly installed Nginx proxy manager instance. And first of all, we obviously need to change username and password since there are some default configurations in place. 
So log in with admin at example.com and the password is change me. Then once you sign in, you basically have to change that information. You have to enter your full name. You need to give the user a nickname and you need to give it a different email address. Hit save and now you can add a password, add the current password and then enter a strong new password. Hit save and the initial configuration is done. So now that your Nginx proxy manager is set up and running, we should go and add a proxy host, meaning a service that is to be exposed using Nginx proxy manager. I go with an add guard service here. So we head over to the dashboard, click on proxy hosts, click on add proxy host. And what we need to do now is we need to, first of all, enter the name that our service should listen to. And then we should define the host name and the port that the service listens to as well as the scheme. We also go with cache assets, block common exploits, and we also enable WebSocket support. Now we head over to the SSL tab and here we want to request a new SSL certificate. In this case, since I don't want to have that specific URL being routable from the outside world, I will go and select use a DNS challenge. So I do that and I then choose my provider in my case it is Cloudflare. What I need to do now is to enter my API token and then I have to agree to the terms of service and hit save. It now lasts quite a few seconds and after everything has been done, I can go and connect to my newly created proxy service. Awesome. So that wasn't that hard, wasn't it? And with Nginx Proxy Manager, you are able to set up your own proxy server with full SSL support out of the box without any additional configuration. Quite nifty, don't you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And while you are there, don't forget to like, to subscribe and to hit the notification bell since it helps and since it allows you to receive daily updates tips and tricks from the world of open source and home labs. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.